That video dropped earlier the same morning, showcasing the company's electric atlas performing some acrobatic maneuvers that it learned in a new way. Boston Dynamics just released footage of their new Atlas robot, and something is seriously wrong about how it moves. The way it bends its limbs completely backwards and turns its head 180 degrees even has robotics experts freaking out. One robotics professor called it deliberately unsettling, and wait until you see what happens when it starts making its own decisions. Boston Dynamics wasn't always making robots that do backflips and parkour. In the early 2000s, they were working on a robot called Big Dog, a four-legged machine that could carry heavy loads for the military. It was bulky, super loud, and honestly, pretty slow. But even then, there was something different about these robots. The way they responded to being kicked or pushed was eerily lifelike. They'd stumble, adjust their weight, and find their balance again, just like an animal would. Fast forward to 2013 when they first revealed Atlas. Now, this is where things start getting crazy. The the original Atlas was this 6'2", 330-pound hydraulic monster that could barely walk without falling over. Boston Dynamics' own CTO, Aaron Saunders, compared it to a one-year-old child that falls down a lot. But here's the thing, they kept improving it. Year after year, update after update. By 2015, Atlas was completing complex obstacle courses. By 2017, it was doing backflips. And by 2018, it was running across uneven terrain and jumping over logs without breaking stride. In 2020, they released that viral video of their robots dancing to Do You Love Me? And suddenly, everyone was sharing it, saying how cute and impressive it was. But guys, what we didn't realize is that they were really showing us exactly how precisely these machines could now move their bodies. What most people don't know is that Atlas was originally developed for DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. That's literally the research arm of the U.S. Department of Defense. Boston Dynamics has repeatedly claimed that they have no interest in using the robot for offensive or defensive warfare. But think about it. Why would the Department of Defense invest millions in a dancing robot? The original Atlas was designed to help in disaster scenarios, shutting off valves, opening doors, using power tools, and even driving vehicles. During a 2015 DARPA competition, Atlas had to complete eight tasks that essentially mimic what a first responder might need to do in a disaster zone. But here's where things get interesting. In October 2022, Boston Dynamics signed a pledge saying they would not support any weaponization of their robots. But by then, they had already been acquired by Hyundai Motor Group, which has numerous defense contracts. So while they're showing us these cute videos of robots doing cartwheels, the underlying technology is getting more and more sophisticated. And the military applications, well, let's just say they're pretty obvious. And that brings us to April 2024. Farewell to Atlas, Boston Dynamics is retiring the humanoid robot after a decade. The year Boston Dynamics suddenly retired their hydraulic Atlas and revealed something way more advanced. The new all-electric Atlas is smaller, stronger, and can move in ways that are absolutely unnatural. Unlike the hydraulic version, this robot has an insane range of motion that goes beyond what even humans can do. We're talking joints that can rotate nearly 360 degrees and bend in directions that would snap human bones. The new electric Atlas is also more agile despite being more compact. Where the old Atlas stood at 5 feet tall and weighed 190 pounds, this new version appears even smaller but is reportedly stronger than its predecessor. And unlike the old Atlas that needed to be tethered to a power source in its early days, this one is completely wireless and autonomous. But what makes this new Atlas truly next level isn't just how it moves, it's how it thinks. And that's where things get really scary. In previous versions, Atlas was mostly following pre-programmed routines. Sure, it looked impressive doing parkour or dancing, but it was essentially executing a carefully planned sequence of moves, like a glorified puppet on very expensive strings. Boston Dynamic engineers would spend months programming a single 30-second routine. The new Atlas is completely different. And this is where we enter truly uncharted territory. According to Boston Dynamics' latest announcements, it's now fully autonomous. That means it's making decisions on its own in real time, 
without human input or supervision. Let that sink in. A robot with superhuman strength and agility now deciding for itself what to do next. During a recent demonstration that hasn't been widely shared, Atlas was given a list of engine parts to organize in a simulated factory setting. Not only did it analyze its environment and move the objects with precision, but then something unexpected happened. A part getting misaligned, it actually recalibrated on the spot and adjusted its approach. No human stepped in. No emergency stop button was pressed. Atlas just figured it out. This is a quantum leap from robots that just follow commands. Atlas now evaluating situations, making decisions, and adapting to changes just like a living creature would. The line between sophisticated machinery and artificial life is becoming dangerously blurred. Boston Dynamics CEO Robert Plater has stated that the goal is to push Atlas even further by combining machine learning and robotics to solve real-world problems. And their recent partnership with NVIDIA to integrate the Jetson Thor computing platform using something called Isaac Groot Framework means Atlas now has the highest performance compute platform ever put in a humanoid robot. If that name sounds familiar, it's because Groot is also a character from Guardians of the Galaxy who starts as a small sapling and eventually becomes a powerful, tree-like being. The symbolism isn't exactly subtle. This Groot framework allows Atlas to run complex, multi-model AI models that work with Boston Dynamics whole body controllers, and it's been designed specifically for generative AI in robots. What does that mean in plain English? Well, Atlas can now process massive amounts of visual and sensor data, make split-second decisions, and execute highly complex movements, all while learning from each interaction. The robot isn't just seeing its environment, it's understanding it on a conceptual level. Aaron Saunders, Boston Dynamics CTO, literally said, with the current generation of our electric Atlas, we are building the world's most capable humanoid. Not the most capable robot, the most capable humanoid. They're explicitly comparing it to human capabilities now. The robot is also using NVIDIA's Isaac Lab, a framework for robot learning in physically accurate virtual environments. This means Atlas is constantly improving through something called reinforcement learning, where it learns from its own trial and error. But here's the truly mind-blowing part. One Atlas robot can learn something, and then that knowledge can be instantly shared with every other Atlas in existence. Think about that for a second. When a human learns a new skill, it stays with that individual. When one Atlas learns something new, the entire Atlas network potentially becomes more capable overnight. This isn't just technological advancement. It's a completely different paradigm of intelligence evolution. And NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang has been surprisingly candid about where this is all heading. At their GTC 2025 keynote, Huang specifically highlighted the Groot model for robotics and how it enables embodied AI, artificial intelligence, that can inhibit and control physical bodies. One of the most unsettling things about the new Atlas is how it moves. Boston Dynamics CEO Robert Plater admitted that their intent was not for it to be human-like, and looking at how it moves, they definitely succeeded. The robot can flip its legs over its head, bend joints in ways that would break human bones and move with a fluidity that's somehow both impressive and deeply disturbing. In their latest video, Atlas runs, crawls, performs cartwheels, and even attempts some breakdancing moves. But it doesn't move like a human trying to do these things. It moves like something else. And that's by design. Plater explained that giving Atlas this wider range of motion allows it to navigate complex environments and perform tasks in ways humans simply can't. So what's the end game here? Boston Dynamics claims Atlas is designed for real-world applications like hazardous inspections and disaster response. And they're definitely making progress there. Their dog-like robot spot has already been used by police forces and for dangerous inspection tasks on oil rigs. But the pace of development is what's truly scary. Just 10 years ago, Atlas could barely walk without falling over. Now it's autonomously completing complex tasks and moving with more agility than an Olympic gymnast. If this rate of advancement continues, what will Atlas look like in another 10 years? Will it be indistinguishable from humans in its capabilities? Will it surpass us? CEO Plater said, in the months and years ahead, we're excited to show what the world's most dynamic humanoid robot can really do in the lab, in the factory, and in our lives. And that's the key phrase, in our lives. These robots aren't just staying in research labs anymore. They're being prepared for integration into our everyday world. You know what? You want to make robots that are strong and powerful, and that's, that's the only way they're going to be useful.